Welcome back to the Packet Lab. Today's lesson is going to be another in the Quick Tip series. And today we're going to take a look at using a MAC address to determine the device manufacturer. Let's start off with a quick review of Ethernet MAC addresses. Ethernet MAC addresses consist of six bytes of 48 bit, and those are generally written out in hexadecimal, and there's at least three different formats. So each byte is going to be represented by two hexadecimal characters. So each unique MAC address can be represented by 12 hexadecimal characters. And we see a MAC address here written out in the three different forms. Now the first three bytes of the MAC address, basically the first half, is referred to as the Organizationally Unique Identifier, or OUI. And the IEEE assigns each vendor a unique OUI. So if we're looking at this MAC address here, the first half of this is 0025.b3 is going to be the Organizationally Unique Identifier, or OUI, which means that the last three bytes are going to be up to the manufacturer to assign in any manner that they wish. And if you do quick binary, you know that 2 to the 24th power is about 16. Million. So that's a buttload of devices. But because we're talking about anything that basically connects to an Ethernet network, 16 million runs out pretty quick. If you're a manufacturer of uh, network interface cards and there's billions of devices out there, you're going to need more than 16 million. So a lot of times you're going to see the IEEE assign multiple OUIs to a specific vendor, and Cisco is one of those vendors. So the reason I ran through this quick review is because we can actually use the OUI from a MAC address to help us in some troubleshooting. So we can take the MAC address and grab the first six hexadecimal characters, which is the first three bytes, and then use that to query a database via an application or a website to find out who the device manufacturer is. Okay, and this is just a graphical representation of the MAC address. You can see here the first half is the OUI. UI, and then the second half is the, the NIC. So you can take a look at any MAC address and basically just split it right down the middle and that first part is going to be your OUI. So let's say that we're having an issue with the device on, on interface fast ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 1 on switch 1. So we query the MAC address table for that interface and we find the MAC address here. So I'm interested in finding out what type of device that is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the first six characters of the MAC address and I'm going to go out to, well in this case the horse's mouth, the uh, IEEE web Website and do a lookup on that OUI. And we can see that in action here. I'll have this link in the show notes as well. So we're just going to drop this into our search field and we're actually going to have to remove the period here. Search and it thinks a little bit and it comes back and tells us this device was manufactured by Hewlett Packard. So awesome sauce, huh? We know for a fact 100% that the device that is connected to fast ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 1 on switch 1 is definitely a Hewlett Packard device. Eww, kind of. There are a couple of important considerations to take into account when you're using OUI lookup as a troubleshooting method. First and foremost is that when you look up the OUI, you're looking at the MAC address. The MAC address is unique to the connection to the network. In most cases, it's going to be a network interface card. So it could be the case where you've done an OUI lookup and it comes up as 3COM and you send your foot soldiers out there to find out who's got the 3COM device on the network and they come back and they say, hey boss, we don't see any 3COM laptop laptops out there. That's because a laptop could be manufactured by say Dell and the network interface card could be manufactured by a completely different manufacturer, in this case 3COM. So it's going to show up with the OUI lookup as a 3COM where it might be a Dell laptop or server or whatever. The other thing to keep in mind is it's pretty trivial to spoof MAC addresses. I mean you could do this on a Cisco switch by changing the MAC address on a port so you could have bogus information out there. So while an OUI lookup may not be something you use in day-to-day -day troubleshooting, it does come in handy for some corner cases. It might be the case that you've got a device out there that's causing havoc. I've had cases where people have blamed the network because they can't get on and then you come to find out that they brought their Macintosh in from home. So while our company only allows say HP PCs, if I go and find the, the MAC address on that port, do an OUI lookup and find out that it's an Apple device, I know that they're up to some monkey business. I've also had cases where there's rogue switches or hubs out there. So if I go look at a port and I see that you know there's five different MAC addresses on there, I know they're up to some shenanigans. That there's some other device that's sharing out that port. Now, if I see that four of those devices have the same OUI, I'm going to assume that those are my PCs. I can verify that with an OUI lookup, but I'm more interested in that fifth MAC address if that's unique. Go ahead and grab the OUI from that, do a lookup on that, and then go send out my goons to go beat somebody upside the head for putting an unauthorized Linksys switch out on my network. So in summary, you can utilize the first three bytes of each MAC address to look up the OUI and find out who the manufacturer is. Again, you have to beware that the manufacturer of the NIC may not match the 
manufacturer of the device and that MAC addresses can be spoofed. So like I said, it's not going to be something you use on a day-to-day -day basis, but it is good to have in the back of your mind so that you can pull it out of your networking troubleshooting toolkit as it will help with certain issues. Thanks once again for joining me in the Packet Lab, and as always, I hope this helps you on your route to becoming a network god.